life sometimes comes at us from all directions. In the face of all the dangers in this world today, we may not feel protected from harm. But the Bible offers us God's protection from all the dangers of this world. This world wants to steal our joy, our happiness, and everything God had designed us to be. This past year, the world has thrown everything at us to take away our sense of protection. Many of us lost our jobs. Many of us lost our loved ones. Many of us lost our retirements. And all the protection and security over the years we tend to lean on to feel secure in this world. No matter the COVID-19, no matter the loss of employment, no matter the loss of our loved ones, they cannot take away the promises of protection God has offered us. With millions of confirmed cases of coronavirus every day on television, trying to insert fear in us, I want you to know God will protect you, will guard you, will keep you safe in these times of crisis. Proverbs 1 verse 33 tells us, but whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear or evil. One of the ways that God showed his love for us is through his many promises to protect us from harm, from loneliness, from evil, from sickness, and from our enemies. However, God's promise of protection is conditional. It is realized only by those who draw close to him. Proverbs 18 verse 10 states, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Today we are going to spend time focusing on protection God offers us every day in His goodness and love through His words. We are going to confess the scripture over ourselves, over our loved ones, remembering that as you confess them, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 54 verse 17. Let's begin. Psalm 91 verse 1. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91 verse 2 to 3. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snares and from the deadly pestilence. Isaiah 43 verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Psalm 5 verse 11. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Jeremiah 15 verse 20. I will make you a wall to these people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue you and save you. Psalm 5 verse 12. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen and protect you from all the evil one. Psalm 121 verse 7 to 8. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. Psalm 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life, whom shall I dread? Proverbs 3 verse 24. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. And when you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Psalm 91 verse 9 to 10. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. Psalm 61 verse 3. For you have been a refuge for me, a tower of strength against the enemy's protection. Psalm 4 verse 8. In peace I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Deuteronomy 33 verse 12. May the beloved of the Lord dwell in security by him, who shows him all the day, and he dwells between his shoulder. Amen.